group of paranormal explorers, our dedicated team travelled all over the UK in search of answers. <gasps> answers to the question, is there really life after death? Join us on our mission to discover the truth. The Sandhill Park Estate in Somerset was established in 1720 and it was home to the Lethbridge family from 1767 until 1913. In 1914, the estate was commandeered by the government to hold Austrian and German prisoners captured in the battle on the Western Front. Once the war with Germany was over, the prisoners were released and sent home. By 1919, the ownership of the estate was passed to Somerset Council and a home for girls in need of care was opened. In 1925, the house was then converted and reopened as a hospital for mentally handicapped children. The estate was requisitioned by the War Office once again in 1940 and became a military hospital. In 1941 the estate was leased to the American Army and 32 more wards were built to accommodate around a thousand patients and it remained in use until 1944. It was then returned to Somerset Council who reopened it as a hospital for mentally handicapped children. The hospital grounds were sold in 1991 and sometime after this the site was briefly used as the Blaze National Fire Museum. Since then, the mansion house was boarded up and left empty, and the remaining outbuildings were left to rot. The main house was badly damaged by fire in November 2011 as a result of an arson attack. As of 2015, work is well underway on renovating the mansion house into apartments. The outbuildings have long since been demolished, and new houses built in their place. We arrived at Sand Hill around 10pm. We had no luck with the mansion house so we made our way over to one of the many other buildings on the estate. While exploring one of these I noticed a light in a window from the building opposite. So we made our way over to investigate. We're just coming to a building now. We was, I was stood in the other building a minute ago and I was convinced I saw some sort of flickering candle light in one of the windows. I actually thought from the distance that it was a house, one of the houses in the estate that was near, close by. But we now realise that it is one of the buildings that are empty. We're going to go now in to investigate and see what we can find. There you go. Onwards. And no doubt upwards. I see it up in... Um, I can't even begin to imagine which window it would be. From one of those windows there. It was an orange glowing light. And possibly up there. Or even possibly up to there. Straight away. This is a good... Can you have... You know. Any normal camera person would have someone doing this, pulling it all back for them. You'd be great. We were now in the building where we had seen the light coming from the first floor, but before going upstairs to investigate, we decided to explore the ground floor. I think it's really hard because there's no windows in them. Keep in thing. Rain. It's not a there. I think we go up then, Mum, to come back down there, there's no doubt. Shut up, be honest, because it basically blows 
What I just heard was caught on camera. Here is a replay with the sound amplified. Once we'd finished exploring on the ground floor, we made our way up the stairs to the first floor. This is where we'd seen the light coming from the window. I don't know. Just. I don't know. It's very windy up here, too. I'm pretty much sticking close to you, because I'm not. <laughs> if you're scared. I'm just scared. Just, something's not right, I don't know what. Mm, I don't know. We'd finally managed to figure out which window the light had been coming from, and we found the room and we went in. What do you do? Uh, uh, I keep thinking stuff's touching my head. People keep, honestly, I keep thinking like something's touching my head. I thought, but there's only one. It's only touching my f***ing head. I'm serious. Do you think it's worth trying it in here? Yeah. Winds up. The only thing is the wind's up, so you have to take well, that's consideration. consideration, yeah. If there's any spirit person here, anybody at all, please make a sound. If that was you that touched me on the head, do it to Wayne. Touch Wayne on the head. Knock something, tap something, throw something. Just let us know that you're here. Any spirit person? Anybody who used to work here? Touch one of us. Touch me. Come on, I mean you no harm. Really try. Someone's just touched my head again. Right, okay. Right, if that was you, please make a sound. Or touch me. Check myself now. Touch me on the head. We mean you no harm. Please make a sound. Can you make two knocks if you're here? Come on, please make a sound. Please try. Come on, please try. Really, really close. What's that squeaking noise? There's something outside. Maybe a, a branch brushing up against a drain pipe or I'm serious, there's something f***ing has from there.
What? I'm scared now. Really. Seriously, something touched me in the head. Someone's just throwing something at me. It's not you, is it? Okay, okay, it's not me this time. It's you. You call her. No, who's that? Throwing at me. You. At least we get. All right, okay. Yeah, I'm calming down. It's ridiculous. That's why we're here. But it's not nice when it happens. If there's any spirit person here, if that was you that just threw something, please throw something again, but away from us. Make a sound, make a tap. Use your voice, speak to us. Touch one of us. Just to let us know that you're here. This was the second object that had been thrown near to us in the space of a couple of minutes. And although you may think Wayne found this funny from his reaction, I can assure you this was not the case. Both of us were now terrified by what had just happened and we were unable to move. If that was you that threw something... Oh my God. Can you do it again, please? Can you please throw something again? Can you show yourself? Can you show yourself in the doorway to us? Let us know that you're here. Show yourself in the doorway to us. That's a door outside. No. Door in the wind. You're shaking. I know. What do you expect? I'm not that scared. I can't move my feet. <laughs> Kill me. I can't, I'm scared. Kill me. No, don't. You're making me scared. Go away. Leave me alone. <laughs> Give me my own space. My space? Your space. This is not dirty dancing. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. I'm going to get back to the car. Seriously? Seriously. Yeah, yeah. Seriously? Yeah. No, okay. Something keeps touching the back of my head. And I'm serious. Well, but it's obviously not me. Honestly, there's someone okay. touching my head. Okay, don't panic. Don't tune up. Right, torch is going on. Follow me. You need to take that. Switch someone it off. Keeps my okay, stop panicking, because that ain't going to get us nowhere. It was easy for Wayne to tell me to stop panicking when it wasn't him being touched on the head. Something just pinged behind us on the floor, Wayne. No, just wait a minute. That was you. Can you do it again for me, please? Make a sound. Can you throw something again? Although we really should have stayed to investigate further, we were too terrified and decided to leave. I just want to get out of here. That's not the way we came in, is it?
Oh my god. I didn't know that. I'm scared now. Those two stones, they were stones. I don't know what they were. We don't know because we never saw them. Nobody moved, there's me and you in the room. me. Scared. I'm better now I'm out here. Although I was glad to be outside and heading back to the car, I couldn't help wonder what might have happened if we'd stayed. I had no explanation to why I kept feeling as if I was being touched on the head, nor could we explain the sounds of things being thrown. The building definitely had an oppressive atmosphere, something like I'd never felt before. As we headed back to the car, we discussed what we had just experienced. We had gone from being terrified to being excited at the things we had just witnessed, and we knew we had to return. It had been exactly a week since our last visit and we were really excited to be back. Michael joined Wayne and myself on this investigation as he was intrigued by what had happened to us the week before. We were also determined to get into the main house this time, and we did. However, we only managed to get into a small part of the basement. Six. Okay, ready? Everyone stand still. If there's any spirit person here within this room with us, please make a sound. Show yourself. Show yourself in the doorway there, archway. Anybody from the Lethbridge family? Anybody who lived here? Please let us know that you're here. That was a bat, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? That's me over now. Don't do bats. It's just, just gone past the screen again. Just don't think about it. Yeah. Alright, we've changed room, hence there was a bat flying around us. So we've decided to change rooms. Temp room temperature is? 14.4. Okay. We've got the EMF meter out ready. If there's any spirits here with us, I mean no harm. That's why this is this thing. Far in the circle. Just it. I mean no harm. We had been down in the basement area for almost half an hour now, and other than hearing a faint bang, we experienced nothing else. With the bats now constantly flying around us, we decided it was time to move on and make our way back out of the building. We then made our way over to the other three newer buildings on the site. All these buildings had a similar layout to each other and we decided to investigate the first one we came to. Right. Okay, if there's any spirits here with us, can you please make a sound? Can you make a noise? Or can you show yourselves to us? It's me, obviously, walking. Okay. I mean, you know how. You just wish to try to communicate in whichever way is possible. If there is any spirits here, um, could you could you push a push a door to? Could you close a door? Slam one. While we stood quietly listening, I thought I heard a sound coming from the corner of the room. 
Please try and contact us in any way which is easy for you. Please, can you make a sound? Can you just knock once? Again, we heard a sound in the corner. Wayne went over to investigate to see if he could see what was making the sound. That was you that just made that noise. Can you do it again for us? We know that you're here. Can you make the sound for us? Do the thermometer. In that corner there. That was you that made the sound just now. Please do it again. Let us know that you're here. Unknown to us at the time, the camera just picked up a strange sound. We will now replay the clip with the sound amplified. Let us know that you're here. Let us know that you're here. Let us know that you're here. decided to move on from this building and we made our way over to the building where we had experienced the most unexplained activity the week before. And we're now going to go in and um, do, what we done, yeah, do what we've done last week and hopefully, fingers crossed, we shit ourselves. <laughs> If there's any spirit person here that was with us last week, please join us again. Can you throw something for us again? Let us know that you're here. There's a digi recorded recording. 
Yes. Yes. E equals ten now. Can you show yourself to us? Show yourself in the doorway. Can you touch one of us? Can you touch one of the boys on the head like you did with me last week? Can you throw something for us? Just let us know that you're here. Throw a little stone beside us. Make a noise. Use your voice. We had just heard a cough come from outside, and then it was shortly followed by voices. There was now other people on the site, and there seemed to be a lot of them. Wayne tried to get to the window quietly to look out, but he failed. There was a group of people outside, but they were just walking through the grounds. We waited for them to go past, and then we carried on with our investigation. Can you touch one of us? Can you show yourself to us? Show yourself in light form to us. Can you make that sound again for us please, but louder? It had now been about 10 minutes since the group of people had walked past and nothing much had been happening. We then suddenly started hearing faint sounds coming from the room we were in but nothing was picked up on camera. Not at this point. I'm so glad that you joined us. Please make a sound. Oh. No, something just flew past my ear. It's nothing paranormal, it's just something of the insect world. There's a bloody big moth in there. It was at this point the camera actually did pick up something, but unfortunately we did not hear it this time. We will now replay what was captured on camera with the sound amplified. We started hearing voices again and soon realised that the group of people that we had thought were gone were coming back our way. We really hoped that they weren't going to come into our building and ruin our investigation. As we stood listening to them, something was thrown behind us. If they come in this building, we have no chance. If they get too loud, we have no chance, we? Well, we can hear them coming in. What the f was that? It's when we're not paying any attention. I don't know. Look who's trying to get our attention. 14.6. It's 
Squat. I'm down two degrees. Ready for it. Two degrees. Please, if there's any spirits, can you please show, us, show yourself to us? We mean you no harm. In night form, with sound. Can you even speak? Can you tell us your name? As I said, we mean you no harm. That's me. That wasn't me. What does he always do when we're not fucking paying attention? I think that's the thing. Let's not pay attention for the minute. If that was you, can you do it again for us, please? Use our energies. Let us know that you're here. So we have two things. One something from over there. We have three. Yeah, I think I'd play. But the bigger one. Definitely two, maybe three, that's what I'm saying. The group of people were right outside our building now and about to come in, so we decided we would call it a night. This was now our third visit to Soundhill Park, and it had been about three weeks since our last investigation. Investigating again was myself, Wayne and Michael, and this time we were joined by Helen. Lucky for us, we did manage to gain access to the first floor of the main house, however we were restricted to just a couple of rooms. If you were here in one of the wars, you were a prisoner here, make yourself known. Come on, please try really hard for us. Let us know that you're here. Tap something. Close one of the doors. Speak to us. If you're a prisoner here, if you were a child living here, if you're a patient here, if you worked here. Show yourself in the corridor here. Show yourself in light form. We had brought our Ouija board with us, so we decided we would set it up and try calling out. If there's anybody here, please try and move his glance for us. Let us know your name. Use our energies and move this glance for us. Come on, please, try really hard for us. We had been trying for about 15-20 minutes and we had no results, so we decided we would head back over to the building where all the activity happened to us before. Like we did last time, remember? Yeah. 
I think that's what it was as well, because we both, because we both a bit jumpy, weren't we? You yeah. know what I mean? She's... I definitely had something in the f***ing Sarah. Definitely. Yeah, I think it's something Please. Something really big had just fallen or had been thrown behind us. Unfortunately, Michael was filming at the time and it was his first time on the camera, as you can tell from him filming complete darkness. Pick up what you threw, throw it again. Yeah, heard me, you scream me in. We know that you're here with us. Please make a sound for us. Do that again. Throw something. We're going to be leaving soon. And we want you to do it one more time for us. I know we ask you over and over again. But we need to know that you're here. With us. Come on, just one last time for us. You do it one more time and we'll go. If they're actually making those noises, make them louder for us. We can't be sure it's you. Please just do it to make sure we know it's you doing it for us. You could knock twice for us, then we know you're answering us. Just knock twice. Or we'll use your voice to speak to us. Come on, you can do more than throw stones, we know you can. Come on, show yourself to us. Use your voice. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I know. Yeah, that's not true because the first time we ever did that, on the minute I spoke, when it was like, can you drop and then it dropped down. I'm sure yeah. it was. It was really, it definitely it was reacting to you. Yeah, because it was touching me on the head. That first night I came here, I was constantly being touched on the head. Well, you go in the other room. What should you say to that? They come back like, is it? You go in there, call out. What's the f***ing What's going to happen? I don't want to go home. Will you die? <laughs> what? So you can go in next one. Next one. What, me and you go in there? Yeah. What, on the way? Yeah. Scared? Yeah. Oh, right, come on. If you really want to go. That was them? That was you. You? That wasn't. What, banging? Yeah. We had been calling out for a while, and other than hearing some noises on the stairs, we were getting no response. The atmosphere seemed different. It felt almost peaceful, unlike the two previous times we had visited. The boys decided they would go into the adjoining room and try calling out in there, while Helen and myself stayed in the room where we had experienced the most activity. What's that? Oh, that's scary. Was that them? I hope so. Wayne! Wayne! Come here! That was horrendous, wasn't it? That did scare me! Wayne! Quickly! Quite a lot of Did you throw anything? No, like shit, I'm serious, that was the worst was one yet. Really quite... I thought I mean, it was you to start with, and then I realised it weren't because you'd already gone. No, I That was, it was like shingle, a handful of stuff being yeah. thrown. Yeah. And I've gone so cold. It's gone really cold. Look at that one. Touch it from I can't believe that. That was horrendous. No, that did make me really quite shit myself. I think they should want off too far. It's got cold again. Yeah. It's strange, isn't it? It gets cold just suddenly in the game. Soon as something happens, mm. or we think something happens.
What was that? Did you not hear that? I didn't know because I was like a whistle in my ear. It was like a whistle in my ear. She keeps thinking noises and them and there. It's not. Did you hear it again? Yeah, I heard that. Guys. Quick. Come back. Quick. We've just heard f***ing loads of noises and there's been some strange shadows in here which have actually thought bats, but there's no They're not bats, bats in here. And there's like a whistling sound. Which you heard once, but I thought it was you and then we've just heard it again. What was letting the EMF meter go off? There's still the left running in this place. Oh. Is there really? Is there really? They've got the big main... Big main block switch. Yeah, but that's really weird. Why would your electricity oh, still be running? There's no the fuses in there, but it's still could run into the meter. But yeah. The fuses have been taken out, so that's probably why none of the lights are working. I'm guessing that's why none of the lights or sockets are working. Just before you come in as well, there was like a whistling sound. That was weird. Did you, when I was in the room with him, did you hear any knocking? Not really, no. no. Lots of rustling and... Um, that first shower of stones and make you have to run was scary, man. I thought, I thought I heard, when I finished all the house, I thought I heard... You heard a little knock. bang at one point, but I don't know if that was around the same time or not. Oh, did, you didn't hear that. Should we wander down there for my... have a go? Why not? There's so much equipment to pick up, though. There's any spirits here with us? We were now in a room at the end of the building. This is where the knocking sounds had come from, the boys had heard while they were walking around. Um, can you make a sound? Or can you show yourself to us? By using light, maybe? You can knock on the wall or, or shut a door, slam a door, that'd be fantastic. We know there are some here. Really try, we mean you no know harm. I'll knock on the door, knock on the wall, touch one of us. Touch me. You touch one of the girls. Thanks. Just after I finished saying thanks to Wayne for his suggestion that one of the girls should be touched, the camera picked up this unexplained sound. Get a strange feeling when you walk in there. You just... If we can, we'll them for a couple of minutes. We'd spent a good four hours investigating and had a long drive home, so we decided it was time for us to head back to the car. We had conducted three separate investigations at Sandhill Park, and each time we experienced some unexplained activity. Whether these things are paranormal or have some reasonable explanation, we'll leave it up to you to decide.